since 1966. This is NBC4's News Conference with Conan Nolan, Southern California's longest running public affairs program. On this edition of News Conference, it's a state political party that's been grappling with a crisis of credibility, the California Democratic Party, now facing multiple lawsuits over the alleged sexual abuse by former state party chairman Eric Bauman, legal troubles that could hurt fundraising and its volunteer efforts. But now, new leadership. We talked with Rusty Hicks, the new California Democratic Party chairman, who up until next week also runs the powerful LA County Federation of Labor. How will he right the ship? Is there a growing divide in his party between the environmental left and organized labor? What does he think of LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva, whom his party helped get elected? We talked with the leader of nine million Democrats in the state, a job previously held by Jerry Brown, Nancy Pelosi, and John Burton. It's called the Right to Shelter, a controversial proposal designed to address the homeless crisis, build enough shelters, and then enforce the no camping laws and remove tents from sidewalks. We talk with one of the authors of the plan, LA County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas. And a conversation with presidential candidate Marianne Williamson, who explains the reasoning and rationale behind her unorthodox campaign for president. Good morning and welcome to News Conference. I'm Conan Nolan. Thanks for joining us. It's one of the more interesting, some would say controversial ideas when it comes to dealing with California's homeless population. And it comes from, among other people, Mark Ridley Thomas, member of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors and also the co-chair of the Governor's Committee on the Homeless Crisis. Uh, Honorable Supervisor, thanks for taking the time. Glad to be here. So it's called Right to Shelter. You did an op-ed piece in the newspapers about it. Daryl Steinberg, the mayor of Sacramento, former pro tem of the California Senate, is the co-chair in this homeless crisis. In your terms, describe what it is. Well, essentially what we're saying is that we have grown completely impatient um, to the point of intolerance of people being on the streets of not only Los Angeles but throughout the state of California literally dying. Our coroner, medical examiner, makes that point clear. Therefore, uh, we believe that there should be a right to housing. Uh, housing so that people do not have to sleep on the cold, wet, hard concrete. Right, but that means municipalities would be required to build shelters and then the homeless would be required to take them up on that offer. It means that it is not about warehousing. It means that it is not about criminalizing the poor. It does mean that we have an obligation to honor the dignity and worth of every single human being and not allow them to languish on our streets, creating public health crises, public safety, uh, public safety uh, problems, and the rest. We have to be much smarter and much more humane about what it is we are doing. Now, for clarity, this is not about permanent housing. This is about shelters, correct? This is about affordable housing, permanent supportive housing. It is about bridge housing. It is about transition housing. It is about a range of options so that people are indoors rather than on the streets. That's what it's about. Right, but if you have a bed for everybody who's on the street, they have an obligation to take it, and you enforce the no camping, you enforce no tents on the sidewalks. That's the controversy. The point is they have an invitation uh, that we hope that they will not be able to refuse. Once we build the infrastructure, we have a crisis. Uh, I'm essentially advocating with my co-chair, Daryl Steinberg, that we declare a state of emergency. The situation is not getting better, right, right. it's but getting worse. We've heard that from the city council before, several this years ago. This is not the declared. city council. No, I understand that. Fundamentally, though, this idea is you build a shelter, enough shelters to house the homeless. Once you do that, they have an obligation to take them up on the offer, They to come inside. There is uh, an obligation, small o, invitation, small i, because we But they don't have the option to stay on the sidewalk. To the contrary, the assumption that people make is that people prefer being outside than inside. And we essentially assert that once the environment is proper, appropriate, with a range of options, people will leave those streets and we have an obligation as a society to cause that to happen. Steve Lopez in the LA Times did his own column. He knows right. something about homeless because right. of the Nathaniel Ayers incident. He right. says most of the people he talked to said, I'm not going into a shelter because yeah. I have freedom here and yeah. they want to control me and I like being... I 
He I also, like the lifestyle. Uh, he also said it's about time that someone came up with an idea that is worth testing. He was referring to this idea of the right to shelter that both uh, Mayor Steinberg and I are Right, advocating. and the governor has said he's not there yet. The Gavin governor just this past week said... My conversation with the governor this week uh, suggested uh, that he's proud of his co-chairs for causing this conversation to take place because things are getting a little too stayed. We should not adjust to a new normal that suggests in any way that people ought to languish on our streets there, in any place in California. There are homeless groups who say you're going to use this money for temporary shelters, essentially, and it's going to rob from the permanent building of housing. It's housing, not shelters. They're opposed to this because of that. Yeah, but they're incorrect. They've uh, drawn a conclusion that is not substantiated. Um, we essentially make the point that we ought not to think that this issue of homelessness is going to be arrested through the slow pace of building affordable housing. What, we you're, have really, to do what that. you're really saying is that we're not going to build enough housing. Not quickly enough. And in the meantime, we are already being practically, practically overtaken by homelessness. All the work of Measure H, the county adopted measure that was fabulous, is being overtaken by income insecurity. We take roughly a 133 people out of homelessness every day in the county of Los Angeles and 150 come in. Why? Because of the force of poverty. Therefore, we have to act quickly. A state of emergency, the right to housing. Uh, no more status quo. That's the message we are trying to communicate. Is this going to be in legislation? Right now it's just an idea. It's an idea that will have legislative uh, legs as well as uh, the governor has an opportunity uh, to issue an executive order if he is so inclined. Uh, I have to ask you about a few other uh, issues while we have the time. Alex Villanueva is the duly elected sheriff of Los Angeles County. He's uh, independently elected, but he has a relationship with the Board of Supervisors over his budget and other matters. You're suing him over the sheriff's uh, reinstatement of some deputies that were let go for behavioral reasons by the previous sheriff. Yeah. What is your assessment of the job that Alex Villanueva is doing as sheriff? Well, I think it's rather clear that he's having a very difficult time starting out as sheriff of Los Angeles County. A lot of that is uh, attributable to his uh, inexperience uh, with government at this level. After all, he rose to the rank of lieutenant, and that hardly qualifies you to be able to run a department of this size and sort. And he's feeling that every day. The other mistake that he uh, is making is to overstate his capacity as an autonomous, uh, autonomously elected um, sheriff. He still has to work with the governing body of the county, namely the Board of Supervisors, who controls the budget and litigation, as well as some level of operations. He's miscalculated at that point. And finally, I would say it will never fly uh, that when you work through the civil service um, process uh, and all of the employee rights are met and you are discharged for allegations related to domestic violence, uh, that that person ought to be restored, particularly if that person happens to be a law enforcement officer. That should have been the end of it. And many of us to this very moment cannot understand why this sheriff is insisting on reinstating someone who has that kind of cloud over his head. Honorable Mark Ridley Thomas, Supervisor for Los Angeles County, as well as the co-chair of the uh, Task Force on Homelessness. Come back soon. I want very to hear soon. what happens. Thank All right. you very much for joining us. Indeed. You're welcome. Up next, he's the new chairman of the California Democratic Party, Rusty Hicks, currently as well head of the very powerful L.A. County Federation of Labor when we return.